In our previous video, we created a menu for our application where we can click and we can go to another screen. But we notice that the menu is only on one screen and we want to make it a universal menu. So how do we do that? How do we do that if we don't even know how many screens we have coming? Well, we can use a trick that we learned in object-oriented programming. In other words, let's take a look at a class diagram that roughly represents our our program as it exists right now. So we have a DTO, we have an interface called iPlantDAO, we have a couple of activities, and both of these activities extend from the activity that's provided to us by Android. So this is what we're going to change. Uh, I'm going to disconnect these activities, these classes from the Android activity, and I'm going to make a common superclass activity called Plant Places Activity. That will have all of the common logic for all of our activities. Plant Places activity will extend from the activity or the action bar activity or whatever you want to call it that is given to us from Android. Now, instead of color capture activity extending directly from Android's activity, we're simply going to have that extend from Plant Places activity. And the same thing for GPS a plant. We'll have that extend from Plant Places activity. It might seem like a lot of work, but it's actually not that bad if we use some of the tools that are given to us by Android Studio. So first of all, I'm going to go to GPS a plant, and let me take away some things that are going to be a bit distracting here. Now, all of the menu logic is what I'm highlighting right here. So we have the on create options menu, we have the method that gets called when we click GPS a plant, and we have the method that's called when we click search by color. This is what we want to go into that common super class. So if I scroll up, I do want to draw your attention to one thing first. Take a look at the inheritance activity, uh, the inheritance hierarchy. Notice the GPS supplant extends from app compat activity. So app compat activity, that's essentially this guy right here. Okay. And what I want you to notice is that when I, um, when I refactor, what I have highlighted here in blue is going to be a bit different. So let's go ahead and do a bit of refactoring. I'm simply going to right click anywhere with the class open. I'm going to choose refactor and then extract. And I'll take a look down here, super class. So right click, refactor, extract, super class. And this is going to do what I showed you in Argo UML for the class called GPS a plant. So let's give this that kind of common superclass name. We'll say plant places activity, just like so. Everything else looks good. Now here's the cool part. This tells me what it wants to extract and bring up to the superclass, and it lets me choose. On create options menu, yes, that's one of our menu methods, so we want to bring that one up. GPS a plant clicked and search by color clicked, those are also both related to our menu. None of the others are related to our menu, and go to color capture I can actually remove. So we're just taking three of these, and I choose refactor, and I want you to take a look. Go ahead and yeah, add, just like so. Okay. Uh, add this to get. There we go. Now I want you to take a look at GPS a plant and what has changed. First of all, if I look at GPS a plant, you see it no longer extends action bar activity. Now it extends plant places activity just like we planned here. GPS a plant extends plant places activity, plant places activity extends app compat activity. Okay, now I scroll down and if you notice, the methods that used to be here are no longer here. So those methods have been removed and where have they gone? Well, if I control click on plant places activity, take a look, plant places activity now extends app compat activity as we expect, just like so. And then we see the GPS a plant clicked menu and the search by color clicked menu, and we save. So we can quickly confirm that the application still works as it always has. And sure enough, GPS a plant comes up, I click search by color, and it takes us to color capture. So all we've done is refactor or realign what is under the hood in our application, but we haven't actually added the menu to color capture activity. Let's go ahead and do that. If we look at color capture activity, we see the color capture activity still extends app compat activity. In other words, uh, this line, instead of going to plant places activity, is going all the way up to app compat activity, which is not what we want. We want it to continue to extend from plant, or we want to change it 
so that it, so that it extends from plane places activity. So to do that is actually fairly straightforward. We simply change the word right here to plant, well, no, not plant TTO, plant places activity, just like so. And now the nice thing is because we have kind of kinked this line, because we have taken, let me actually do that in real life. We've taken what was a line that looked like this, we took that away, and we just made it a line that looks like this instead. Because of that, we now inherit all of this extra magic from plant places activity. So let me save and let me go ahead and deploy our app again and let's see what it looks like. The application is up now and take a look. I click search by color and you see we go to the color capture screen. I click GPS a plant and nothing happens, but we can fix that. Nonetheless, we do see that the menu is now universally applied to any activity which extends from plant places activity. Okay, we do also still have the dilemma where whatever screen we are on uh, still has the option, it still has a menu option to go to that screen. We'll take care of that in the next video. But right now, let's just try to make this last part work where clicking on GPS a plant will actually take us to the GPS a plant screen. This will just take a couple of lines. So I will say intent, GPS a plant intent equals new intent. So this is an explicit intent, which means we are saying explicitly where we want to go. So we start with just this, which represents the current screen. In other words, where we're starting from. And then we're going to say GPS a plant uh, dot class, which says take us to that GPS a plant screen. Terminate with a semicolon and then start activity. And we'll say GPS a plant intent. I am going to go ahead and say finish at the end of this because we're considering GPS a plant to be our kind of our, our main screen. And if we're going to that screen, that indicates we're not currently on that screen. So we can go ahead and wrap up whatever screen we're on and go back to GPS a plant. So I choose save and let's deploy and let's see how this looks. And with the application running now, we see I can click search by color. That takes me to the GPS, uh, to the uh, search by color screen. From there, I can click GPS a plant and I get right back to the GPS a plant screen. So in this video, we've seen how to refactor an existing activity and create a superclass activity out of it. In other words, kind of push a middle manager between the original superclass and the subclasses that we have. So something that's going to have common logic that all activities within our application are going to have. We know right click, refactor, extract superclass, and then we can choose what methods go up into that super class. So I hope this video has been helpful. I look forward to seeing you in the next video where we see how to dynamically remove the current screen's menu option from the menus that appear up at the top. And as an added bonus, we're going to remove the current screen's menu option without using an if test or a switch case statement. We're going to use the template method design pattern. I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you.